Hey guys, so before we get into this video, I quickly want to mention Italo Jewelry once again for you guys because they sent me some really cute new pieces and I'm excited to share them with you guys. So before I show you the pieces, let me get into some facts about Italo Jewelry. They have top quality and reasonable price and for that I can definitely attest. They also have a lot of sales during the holidays, so you definitely want to go check them out during the holiday season, but they have really great prices overall for really great quality jewelry. They also have worldwide free shipping, which is super duper dope. And they also have a one year warranty and 60 days return, 100% safe and secure checkout. But the fact that I want to mention that always catches my attention is that they have a one year warranty and then a 60 days return policy. And that is super dope, especially when it comes to jewelry because you can always return it if you really don't like it. If it really does not live up to the standards that they're setting for themselves, then you can always return it within 60 days. So I just quickly want to show you their website because it is really easy to shop on their website. And just so you can see, their prices are pretty reasonable and it is for really good quality. And just as I'm showing you guys, there's a way to get a discount. But here are the categories. You can literally get any kind of jewelry that you're looking for when you go on their site. It's really, really easy to actually choose what kind of jewelry or look for what kind of jewelry you are in need of. With all of that being said, I will now show you the new jewelry pieces that I got from Italo Jewelry. So again, you guys know I really, really love their packaging because their packaging is my favorite color it looks really sleek it's really dope it looks really luxury actually inside the box you do get your jewelry care guide as well as your return and exchange instructions and you get the sterling silver certificate just to prove to you that it is real sterling silver so this is how it comes in the box when you order multiple um, products and I'm gonna show you guys this gorgeous ring that I received from them. So beautiful, so sparkly, and not super expensive. So you can look good for a good affordable price. The next ring I'm going to show you came in the same box and this is actually so beautiful. I cannot wait to wear it. I don't know when I'm gonna wear it. My nails aren't done right now so I feel like I can't wear it right now. But this ring is so freaking gorgeous and it has a blue stone and it just the way this sparkles you guys like amazing i don't think anything could beat this like so the next box i'm going to show you is my last piece that i received from them and again each box comes with the certification as well as your jewelry care and everything else like that and this is the final piece that i received from them and it is another gorgeous ring and this one sparkles just like the other ones and just look at how beautiful this is. So I'd like to thank Italo Jewelry for sending me these beautiful pieces and for sponsoring this portion of the video. If you guys want any of the rings that I have on right now, then please check the description box below. I will have direct links in the description box below for you guys. And Italo Jewelry also hooked my followers up with a code. So if you're going to order from them, not only will you get the price that you see on their website, but you will also get a discount by using my code, which is Kendra20. It'll be right here and it'll also be in the description box below. Please don't forget to use the code so you guys can get an extra discount. And yeah, check out Italo Jewelry. All the information is in the description box below. And now we can get right into the video. Hey loves, it's been a hot minute since I sat down and got ready with you guys. And those are kind of like my favorite videos to do. So I'm gonna just jump right in. I have my eyebrows done. So I'm just gonna prep my lids with some concealer and we're gonna get started. Today I kinda wanna do like a simple fall makeup look because you know it's is the season. I'm filming this on October 1st. I'm stuffy, I'm not stuffy, I just sneeze like twice. So that's why I may sound a little congested. Today is Friday, October 1st. First day of new months gets me excited because it's new beginnings and hopefully a fresh start to a lot of great things. There's not many updates that I have for you guys at all. Reasons why I've been gone, which at this point, that's old news. I'm always like taking these breaks. It's been necessary because, you know, life has been going on. 
per usual, life is still a life thing. <laughs> it's been hard because I've had yet another death in the family. Um, so I've been around family a lot, and so that leaves me almost no time to sit down and film for you guys, as well as a lack of motivation because it's just kind of like, you know, I don't, I don't know, it just, it doesn't, I don't feel like sitting down to film um, when I'm just not there. I will say, though, that thanks to my therapist and my hard work, my willingness to just get better um i'm a lot better and i'm handling just life a lot better than i have in the past thank goodness also i'm not really gonna say what i'm putting i'm really gonna go for like a bronzy slash like light brown and some golds on the eye and then i want this selena dreaming of you lip that i'm obsessed with i've been seeing how bad i was feeling for the Selena collection all over my Snapchat because of the, you know, the flashbacks or whatever. So I'm like, you know what? Yes, I was feeding for that collection. Let me go use it. So I'm gonna use this lip. I know that for sure. Yeah, I've been handling life a lot better. Um, I'm under some stressful circumstances as of right now as I'm speaking to you guys, but I'm choosing not to stress out because that does absolutely nothing for me but make me feel bad. It doesn't solve any of my problems or issues it doesn't make things easier it doesn't do anything it literally stress does nothing for you so i'm choosing not to stress um no matter how hard things get and that's some place that i've always wanted to be at but i've never had the capability of being at because everything just seems so hard um and i just couldn't get myself mentally to get there but it's all a work in progress. It's all about climbing that mountain. And you guys, I've been putting in the work to get better mentally and my battery is dying. So I'm gonna be right back. All right, so now I'm back. Battery should be full. Let's just take it off the charger. But anyway, yeah. So I think when it comes to life situations and stuff, it's gonna, you know, at the, I've just learned, especially over the past like year or two, that things are going to keep happening you know like life is gonna continue to happen and it's gonna happen whether you move with it or you don't so whether you sit down depressed or lay in bed depressed and gloomy and all of that it's still gonna happen or you can get up and just try your very best put your best foot forward and just go I'm choosing the second option because that's just what it's about. But how has life been for you guys? It's so crazy that it's fall. I just, I usually like the fall. Like fall is probably one of my, it's between spring and fall for me. I used to love summer, but that was when I was a kid, you know, like, ooh, beach days and stuff. So now I'm not too crazy about summer. It's just too freaking hot. And I don't really like winter at all. It's too cold and I don't like, how um, dark it gets early. I don't like that. So that's what I was gonna say about fall. Like I love fall because it's right in between and it's sweater weather. And I love, my favorite is fall fashion. Like if you look in my closet, that's like the most that I have is a lot of fall clothing. So I'm excited to, yeah. What I don't like is that daylight savings happen and starts getting dark earlier. I don't like that like it just doesn't make me very happy at all I actually I, I feel like I've always said this I feel like I have seasonal why did I forget the name of that wow that's crazy but yeah I think I do have some sort of that because some, some sort of that, some form of that because literally around fall time it's always like that and then the holidays just I don't know like I know people get excited for the holidays I don't I used to when I was a kid again but as I got older, I just don't. It's just so regular to me. It's like, okay. Like, you know, there's like, yes, I love being around family, but if we're being real, I'm always around my family anyway, thank God, because I'm close to them and I don't live far from them. So it's not, it just doesn't make a difference for me. It's like, cool, we're getting together again to have food and on Christmas to open some gifts. And the only thing that I've like, I used to when I was a kid, I loved getting gifts and counting my gifts. and in a competition with my cousins and stuff to see who has the most gifts or who has the biggest gift under the Christmas tree. But now, 
obviously I'm way too old for that. I don't care how many gifts I get. If I get any, I mostly feel good when I just give. Like when I see people's faces, like my family members' faces, when they open a gift that I was excited to get for them because I know they like it and they wanted it. That's my favorite part about Christmas. And Christmas used to be my favorite holiday. I think I like New Year's better now. Yeah, I think I like New Year's better. And then for Halloween, I don't know if we even include that when we're talking about holidays, but um, Halloween, I never really do anything. I used to go trick or treating when I was little. Now, I don't do anything. I've always wanted a host a Halloween party. I don't know, should I do that this year? I feel like my, my apartment is so small though, so it's, it's hard always to host things here. So I don't know if I'll do that, but it could be fun. So maybe if I get into the spirits, that's this month, wow, that's crazy. Oh my God, Halloween is this month. Guys, I know a lot of y'all been asking me for, um, what do you call that? Like swipe arts and stuff like that. And I'm always like, yeah, I'm gonna get back into it. And I just never find the motivation to do it. I never find it because Truthfully, I don't want to do it anymore. Like, it was fun in games and it was cool and I had a lot of fun creating art. Um, and I still do. I just, like, whenever I have the time to do something, I really want to sit down and do stuff like this. Or I want to do just, yeah, just stuff that's a lot more fun and not as time consuming that I can get done. Like, I'd rather be more efficient than doing something that's like super time consuming. Like back then I could have done stuff that's like time consuming because I just could have ever, but now I feel like I just have to do stuff that's just effective. And at some point I do want to still create like creative art, makeup and stuff. So I don't know if I'll do that this year for Halloween because I'm gonna be real honest with y'all. I'm not in that headspace at all. And I usually never am. That's why when Halloween comes around, I feel so bad because it's like every year is the same thing. Like I want to be, but I'm not, like October, mentally, I just don't do great. Maybe this year will be different. Um, and right now, as I'm speaking to you guys, I feel great mentally. I felt, I'm actually better than I ever, ever, ever was. I'm in a complete different headspace. Like this is a new me right now. Um, I've been experiencing is a really new me and I'm happy about it, but I don't know if that means, oh, hey, I'm gonna sit down and do some Halloween tutorials for you guys. I'm not gonna sit here and lie you guys i'm just gonna put on some lashes and mascara and i'll be back to finish my face okay you guys so i have my lashes on and now moving on to concealer so i'm just gonna let that sit for a little bit before i start blending that out in the meantime I will talk to you guys a little bit about everything. So the month of September was great. It was just, I just, I really couldn't get myself to actually sit down and film. I think ever since I had my first panic attacks back in February, I just never got back to myself in like a weird kind of way. Like I never um, got back on a good productive schedule especially here on YouTube because you guys know when January started I was like on it every day I uploaded a video which was insane I still think about that and I'm like how the freak did I do that but the goal was to kind of do that for the whole year and I dropped the ball because mental health got in the way and I'll say this, I've never had like the kind of mental health issues that I was having in February and as the months progressed was I, it's something I've never experienced before. So I really didn't know what to do. I had to just really sit down and realize like, wait, what is going on? Like try to figure it out. And um, I, as you guys know, I started therapy in June and it is now September. This year has just been a crazy fast. But um, I've gotten a lot better as far as a lot of things. I haven't had a panic attack since like June. So it's been helping um, kind of just sitting with myself and kind of realizing like I'm good, you know, like, yeah, it's just, it's just been helping. And that's why I truly do recommend therapy. I feel like sometimes we just get so hard on ourselves and kind of think that whatever the issue that we're having, whatever the issue at hand is like the end all be all. Um, and that's not the case. And it's not, sometimes it's really not as bad as it seems. And 
sometimes we're just not looking at it the right way so it does help to have a therapist that can help you kind of see things better um so yeah it's been helping me i'm much more calm now like sometimes i have to even like i it, i'm so calm nowadays when it comes to just life that i have to question like am i okay like am i home like am i here like what is going on because you guys like my my mind it wouldn't stop like it just wouldn't like my thoughts would not stop i'm just so content like even in the midst of stress and you know life is still happening it's not like oh i just have no problems now or nothing like i just had yet another death like that's the death of three loved ones in less than a year and a half and the old me would have crashed hard i would have that would have been just enough to take me out really and that's why i can't even believe that i'm even saying that and i'm just so calm i'm so just i've just come into like a different kind of phase of life where i'm just like it's okay it's life it's supposed to happen and that doesn't mean i don't get sad and i don't have my off days when i feel overwhelmed and just you know down about life and stuff that does not mean that let me put that out there but it doesn't last long like i'm like okay yeah like yesterday for example i was kind of like down i was like you know i woke up and i just knew i was tired and not tired like my body's tired tired and like i am emotionally and mentally tired and i just can't today like i can't do today so yesterday i really just stayed down and i watched i binged watched squid games because i was watching that already um and the voice because you know my girl ari is on there now so i have to catch up on the episode and i just stayed down i'm like you know what i'm just taking the day off like i have to and i just stayed down but today it is about to be 11 a.m and i'm already filming look at me because usually i'll waste half of the day playing Among Us or something and then get to work eventually, but not nah, today. I was like, nah, I have to get up. I have to, I have to, I have stuff to do. I'm, I'm an adult. I'm, I have to get moving. Like there's just goals to be accomplished. But speaking of which, I haven't had breakfast. So I'm gonna take a break. I know like in the middle of filming, I'm gonna take a break and go have breakfast and then I'll be back. All right, you guys, so now I am back and I'm just gonna work on my lower lash line because I just started baking. So I'm just gonna put some browns under there. Okay, so now I'm just gonna bronze up my cheeks. I've been using like this NARS, what is it, Laguna um, from NARS, but this is like the low mini travel size one because I got this as you know like when it's your birthday you get it from Sephora or whatever the free thing so I chose this as well as the, um, the stick bronzer but right now I'm just gonna use powder I, I've been using both together all right you guys so now I'm just applying my con not concealer I messed up my mascara so I'm gonna wait till it dries to really clean that I'm applying some highlights this look is almost done all right you guys so this look is practically done i just have to do my lips but i'm gonna do that after i go ahead and figure out something with this hair and then i'll be right back for the final look hey guys so i just refreshed my curls a little bit and then i did this off middle side part ish yeah this is not much that i wanted to do with my hair because i'm trying to just leave it alone but my curls look pretty good just a little frizzy but nothing too crazy anyways i'm going in with this graftobian scarlet lip liner it's like a dark dark red so i just want to use a little bit of this to set me up for my lipstick dash is also in here with me right now so if you hear his little bell or whatever just know dash is here Now for the star of the show, Selena Times Mac, Dreaming of You, which is one of my favorite songs by her ever, by the way. Cause I'm dreaming, 
Mm, yes, fall vibes, fall vibes. And then the orange hair, fall, fall vibes, you guys. That is Dash in his litter box. I'm sorry, you guys. He loves being around me for whatever reason. He just loves being around me. Like, I locked him out earlier and he's just meowing at the door. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this little, here, come here, come, come, say hi. Come say hi to my friends. Don't bite me. Say hi. Oh, the little bush. Oh. Isn't he adorable? He's two months now. He's getting fat and he's getting big. He gives me kisses. I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me. It was fun to film one. I haven't sat down here and talked to you guys in quite some time. And as I said, these are my favorite videos to do. I've been vlogging a little bit more. I'm trying to get better at vlogging because I feel all my vlogs are usually just in my studio, but I literally am always in my studio. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me. Let me know in the comments down below what videos you want to see from me because I am in like a creative kind of funk right now. I'm trying to figure it out, but I need some ideas. So let me know in the comments down below what you want to see from me. And yeah, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. Also, follow me on TikTok, Kiss by Ken one And have a happy October. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!